Hey, welcome to my channel where I just teach the Bible, and this is a main message for the day. And uh, we are looking at Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he'll make your path straight. I'm looking at that one phrase at a time. Now, I hope you subscribe, hit the bell, make comments, uh, help me get this out to as many people as I can, and and uh, help me help me get uh, monetized by listening to things to the end. And look for these main messages. They take more time. And that'll help me get monetized so I can devote more time to teaching the Bible on YouTube. So Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, important. In today's phrase, we've already done one. It's the second phrase. Lean not on your own understanding. You know, when, when we lean on our understanding of things, man's understanding of things, we're setting ourselves up for a huge disappointment. In fact, we're setting ourselves up for a fall. And we live in a culture that is in free fall because they, they're leaning on their own understanding, their own humanistic wisdom. And it's nonsense a good part of the time. I was sitting in a wood chair at a friend's house eating dinner with them. And this is years ago, but there's some moments you'll never forget. This is one of them. And as I sat in that wood chair, uh, having a nice meal with some dear friends, I heard a cracking sound, and I felt a little bit uneasy. Suddenly, the chair collapsed, and I found myself sitting in a heap of chipped, shattered wood that was once a chair, and it collapsed under me. Leaning on our understanding of things, the way we see things humanistically, is as unstable as that chair that collapsed under me. It'll collapse under you. Our own understanding is blown up. Listen to Deuteronomy 8, verse 3b. It says, To teach you that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. That's the scripture Jesus quoted at Satan when he tempted him to turn rocks into bread when he was being tempted in the wilderness for 40 days. And the point is, you don't, to, don't lean on your understanding because it can amount to leaning on Satan's deception, you know? He was trying to get Jesus to buy into his deception by leaning on his understanding. Leaning on God's word will always be right and it'll never let you down. You'll never end up in a heap of what used to be a chair on the floor if you're leaning on God's word. For instance, man's understanding is that a woman, this is what people are saying today, a woman can identify as a man, and if she were to get pregnant, then a man got pregnant. How ridiculous is that? But that's man's understanding of things in the world, and it's going to collapse in a culture if we're not careful. But God's understanding is that God made them male and female, and females get pregnant. Only females get pregnant. Biology says that. Just because you say you're a man and get pregnant when you're a woman doesn't make you a man. And it, the man did not get pregnant. A woman did. It's silly. And that's a, a lot of man's ideas are like that. And they're floating all over the place today. A secular worldview leans on man's understanding, and it will always let you down. It'll always collapse. A biblical worldview leans on God's understanding in his word and will always hold you up, and it will always hold, hold the culture up. Our culture needs to return to that. That's why I teach the Bible on YouTube. It's so important. We need a biblical worldview. We see in the media that people are now identifying 57 genders, but God made two, male and female. Biology says that, the Bible says that, any smidgen of common sense says that. We now have a sitting Supreme Court justice who can't tell us what a woman is. Why? She is leaning on man's ideas, not God's words. And she is, she's collapsed. She doesn't know what's going on. We live in a culture poisoned by man's thoughts. The only antidote to that is God's word. Lean on his word. It will not drop you on the floor. Hope you subscribe, make comments, help me get this out to more people. 
Have a really blessed day, and I will talk to you again soon.